So Scott, what do you do here at Chris Tech? Uh, Chris Tech, uh, we're a subcontractor for various different uh, engineering industries. Um, we're in our 30th year uh, and we've just purchased this new five axis uh, Matsura to expand our capabilities. Is it your first five axis? Yep, this is our first five axis within, within the company. We, before we had three axis uh, VMCs. Um, so yeah, we're just looking to expand, um, like I said, increase our capabilities and move into different sectors of work. With buying machines like this from Matsura, it comes with programming challenges. So how do you overcome these challenges? Um, we looked at various different software packages to control the, uh, the Matsura. We wanted to go with our offline programming which we didn't have before on our previous VMCs. Everything was done online. Um, so yeah, we looked at various different packages and we came to the conclusion that Hypermill from OpenMind was, our, was the most suitable package to uh, run the machine. And how did you come to that conclusion? Uh, looking at the other packages that were available, we found that uh, Hypermill was the most dedicated to the five axis um, machine. What features do you like on Hypermill? Uh, the collision detection I find is absolutely brilliant. Uh, so all of our tools on the machines, uh, we get 3D models from the manufacturers, um, load them into Hypermill. We have 3D models of the machine from Matsura. And um, yeah, before any programs run, we do collision detection and full simulation on screen. And I know this part here, you. Uh you use the anti-collision for, so can you talk yeah. us through it? This part here, um, with our holding system, um, the Lang Vices, you can hold on three millimeters. Um, and this part here actually measures 3.25. So we are really getting to the limits of what we can do. Um, when you're going three axis machining, you can kind of predict where things are gonna go, but when you start swinging, axis around and moving about, um, the collision detection is vital to, uh, to make sure you don't hit your machine. And like you say, you're using it for your five axis machines, but you've got a shop full of VMCs, so are you not using it on your VMCs? Uh, no, we have uh, post processors for all of our other machines. Uh, this particular machine runs on Fanuc, but our other ones are all Siemens. But yeah, it's fully uh, integrated on all of our other, all of our other VMCs. And how was the learning cycle? And I know you've only been using it a number of months, but was it easy to pick up? Yeah, um, before, when we purchased the software, they sent it to us and I just looked at YouTube videos and the help files, got a good idea and understanding of the software um, and then went on a three-day training course up at their head office in Bicester and went from there. And so far, I haven't had any problems, which is good. No crashes yet then? No, 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 it's all been good so far. Okay, and just finally, you've got this lovely piece of kit behind us here, but how would you be programming it without the Open Mind software? Well, you wouldn't be able to use it at anywhere near of its capabilities, just uh, typing out G-code longhand. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we would be stuck without it, really. It's, uh, it's certainly been a good, uh, a good purchase for us. So happy with Open Mind? Yeah. The support is absolutely brilliant. Anything we need, I just send them an email, give them a ring. Um, we have engineers come in here. We have Renishaw probing on the machine and uh, Hypermill copes with that really well. When you speak to a lot of the manufacturers of these CAD CAM softwares, they kind of seem to shy away from the probing cycles. Um, but yeah, Hypermill, I actually have program Hypermill to bring the probe out, it'll come down measure the job, update the work offset, and then recut the job um, all on its own kind of thing. You don't need to be here, do you? No, no, that's the thing. I, uh, it just runs itself. <laughs>